Hi, it's Tim on Digital Woodworking again. Today we're going to talk about the CNC behind me. This is a custom made machine. A lot of readers and viewers have been asking about what makes this machine a little different and why I specified it the way I did. Let's get started. My CNC was made in 2014 by a custom CNC builder in the Seattle area. His name is Carl Bruce. I have some links down below so you can contact him if you're interested. In my work as a furniture maker and in my sculpture work, I find that I don't need a really large CNC like a 4x8 or a 5x10 that a cabinet maker might use. I need a smaller machine and my shop is somewhat small so I do have limited space. So this machine is 6 feet long, the x-axis is this way, 3 feet wide, and its cutting depth is around 10 inches. That's extra deep. And the extra dip allows me to do some 3D carving things that I'm very interested in. The next thing is, is this CNC will extend four inches beyond the end of the bed. So I can mount a bracket over here to be able to do vertical work and cut, say, tenons on the end of a, of a stretcher or something for a chair. The other obvious thing about the CNC is right here. As you can see, there's two spindles. So the question is, is why did I have two spindles? Well, for a couple of reasons, actually. So typically, I might load up one spindle with a bit that might do my roughing passes, and then the other spindle might be loaded up with a bit that might do my finishing passes. So rather than having a bit change or some sort of thing that would delay cutting something, I could go right from rough cutting right into final cutting. So the components of the machine are complementary to this scale and size of the machine. So, for example, these are pretty standard 2.2 kilowatt or around 3 horsepower water-cooled spindles. You can see the water is running through the tubes here, and on the back of the machine is a cooling system that recirculates coolant. As we know from other kinds of woodworking machines, a bill that's very stable and heavy really helps a lot. So in this case, very thick frame uh, components here. The next thing is, is the bed has a half inch aluminum plate along here. The gantry back behind me here is constructed equally as strong with three quarter inch supports. It's very rigid, so as it moves across this way, there'll be very little flex or vibration that would be transferred down into the cutting itself. Let's talk about some of the things I've done to customize the machine itself. First and most obvious behind me is dust collection. As you can see, the dust shoes are down here. I'm able to see what's going through the tubes here, and I can open up the gate depending on which spindle is running at any given time, and then it connects through my dust collection system. Another thing that I've done is an alignment system, and that allows me to line up to set up an origin point. And I've done that in two ways. The first way I did it was with a laser system. Now the laser system puts out an X cross beam that I line up to the corner of a given part that I'm trying to set an origin point to. I know the offset distance from the center of this laser beam to each of these spindles and I set to that. Another one here that you can't quite see the details is I have a camera system installed as well. This does pretty much the same thing as the laser except the camera is looking right down on top. So it's actually a little more precise and a little faster to set up. Another detail is this custom touch-off block made by a friend Devin Bedoni at Lycan Manufacturing. This is what's called an XYZ touch-off block. So it, besides just being able to set the height it also, if you put it over the corner, it'll actually find the corner position by butting up against here. The CNC will tap here, tap here, and tap on top. And in the end, you'll be precisely set up to that corner. So one of the most obvious ways I've customized the machine is the bed itself. There's a lot to cover there that I'll get into in another video. But you can see already it's basically T-slots as well as these positions on top. 